between Columbia and Charleston. Today, the South Carolina Department of Transportation broke ground for the redesign of the I-26 and I-95 interchange. WIS reporter Jalen Tart has the latest on what this new interchange will bring. Governor Henry McMaster, along with state officials, repeatedly stated during the groundbreaking ceremony that this project will ensure safety for drivers who go through the I-95 and I-26 interchange. That's a great day on I-26. SEDOT officials, along with Governor Henry McMaster and other state leaders, gathered to break ground on a complete redesign of the interchange at I-26 and I-95. Truck driver Brandy Gilmore drives through that interchange frequently. She says this project is desperately needed. That can improve on the roads, but it's, it's going to take time. Like for us being truck drivers, it's going to be more aggravation with the work going on and us trying to do our work at the same time. It's going to hinder us. It's going to hinder traffic. It's, it's going to be a big mess. The project will realign the ramps to provide more direct, free-flowing movement from one interstate to the other. Secretary of Transportation Christy Hall spoke on the additional features that the project will add. Uh, this upgrade, uh, which as you heard mentioned is a quarter billion dollar investment to completely modernize it and set the stage for the widening of the rest of I-26 to tie into it as well as the widening of I-95 as we continue to advance those those areas as well. The total cost for the project is $240 million, which is being funded by the National Highway Performance Funds along with other state funds. Governor McMaster says this project will have an impact for generations to come. That intersection right there, I-95 north and south and I-26 east and west, that is going to, what we're doing today is going to cause, going to allow this area to blossom and come forth. It's going to help all of our people for generation after generation. SCDOT officials say that construction is expected to begin later this year and the construction to be completed by the summer of 2027. Reporting in Bowman, Jalen's Hart, WIS News 10. Good evening, everybody. I hope you